that's how you get to that. Pause music. <laughs> okay, all right. So what you bought the music for? Well, let me tell you why I paused the music, dude. Um, I really paused the music just because I'm on a road that I have no clue uh, where I'm going. And uh, I'm trying to get home from work, and this right here is like a new road for me. So, you know, normally I just turn my camera on just because, because you just never know what could go on in the neighborhood. I remember one time I woke up early. It was probably about five o'clock in the morning. And I was like, for some reason, I was like jonesing for a ride. I was like, yo, I gotta get out here on these streets. Okay, so I hop on my bike, I get out in the neighborhood, and something was like, bro, look to your left. And I look, and it's this huge polar bear looking dog coming my way. Now, of course, there were two things that I could have done, but it was one thing that I did. <laughs> First off, I went ahead and took the hell off, okay? Like, there was no go slow mode. It was like, bruh, you need to go, because if you don't go, this polar bear looking dog is going to eat you. Oh, man. And from that day forth, I used to be like, bruh, if you go home, or if you're at home, don't go back out. If you're going to be out, be out. But don't be, like, in and out. You know what I mean? Like, when you was younger, and your mom be like, um, no, in and out of my house. This is a CRX right here. You know that this car is on computer games and, like, street racing games? Because the car is, like, pretty quick. I forgot what I used to play. I used to play, uh, what's that racing game? Uh, racing CT on uh, it was just like a regular on DragonGames.com. That's exactly where it was. DragonGames.com racing CT game. I used to love that dang game. I spent hours building up cars on there, and de look, and definitely tuning my freaking uh, what I had a Mustang. I went ahead and got a Mustang on there, which mind you. It's super duper hard because they start you off with a Honda Civic and they don't give you no extra power. You have to go in there and tune your car. Shout out Dragon Games, bro. You made my childhood the best. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to get ugly. Nah, nah, this shouldn't get ugly. Um. Okay. Hmm. Okay. One of these roads I gotta go to uh, because it's just the way to go. And then one of these roads lead me absolutely nowhere. So, I'm going to follow this CRX. Okay. You go, then you go, then I go. Do you know how hard that is? You know how hard that is for people to follow? That's like one of the hardest rules ever. You stop, he stop, then you go. Cause people don't be wanting to stop, man. People got like really weird traffic stuff. Man, am I going the right way? Does that say Smyrna? Oh shit, yo. You go, you go, then I go. This is probably the wrong way. I'm probably going the wrong way. I should have followed the CRX. Well, if this was Jason versus Freddy, definitely going the wrong. I know I'm going the wrong way now. Okay, I have to turn left at one of these uh, stop signs because I'm definitely going the wrong freaking way. I've been down this road before, and I know for a fact that it's not going to take me where I want to go. But I can't stop. I don't know why. I just got to keep going straight. Like, I got to find out if it's really the wrong way. <laughs> oh, man. Dang it. Dang it. I know what I'm getting myself into. What are you doing? Turn around. Well, at least I got a full tank of gas. <laughs> a full tank of gas. Oh, man. 
Yep, you're definitely going the wrong way, man. You're right. Okay, pull up our drive. Street that I'm supposed to turn left on. Boom, 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 boom. Ha! Why would you go the wrong way on a freaking motorcycle? What, why would you go away you never been on a motorcycle? Well. <sighs> It's a funny story, man. And I think I'm by myself, so I gotta make sure I'm by myself. It's a funny story. Okay, ever since I decided to go get me a motorcycle, I just was like, I don't care where I gotta go, I don't care how far a place is, I'm gonna ride. phone talking what if what if what if my bike broke down right there while she was on the phone talking how was she gonna be able to stop her car that's right she wasn't she would have just hit me and probably kept going oh my god i hit someone let me keep going that's the first instinct of every car person that's out there not all of them but most of them be like if i hit a motherfucker i'm leaving that motherfucker and he'd be like where you you just committed a crime. But that's okay, because he's on a motorcycle, so none of them really follow the world. You just, you just committed, a, you just, ma'am, you just committed a crime. Well, uh, he shouldn't been there? Like, what? What What are y'all rationalizing? Like, what are y'all using to rationalize this shit? Are y'all using, like, the stuff that y'all see on YouTube to figure this out? Because I just, I feel like the stuff they see on YouTube is, is what everybody go off of. Like, all, all sport bike riders, they're like dicks. All of them dicks, and they all hit mirrors off cars, and they all break the law. Look, listen, listen. When you cut a motorcycle off, and he decides to beat the hell out your mirror, that's because you cut him off. Stop cutting him off. Stop cutting bikes off. I done had people literally, I, I'm, I'm like, seriously, I had somebody blocking the entr uh, entrance, okay, stopping traffic, all because she wanted to talk on her phone. Now, she was just, matter of fact, she wanted to talk in my bag, she wasn't talking on the phone, she was texting on her phone, and she was sitting in front of this entrance, and she wouldn't let nobody get into this entrance, okay. First off, the law states that you're not supposed to be blocking the entrance, okay. You can't block entrances. Secondly, bruh, secondly, you, you're not supposed to be texting while you driving. Like, how, how hard is that to remember? That's not hard at all, okay? And any time that you do that, you're breaking the law. But you're mad about your mirror because you decided, let me cut this biker off. Do you know how hard it is to slow a freaking motorcycle down? Especially when you high in gears. Bruh, be in fifth and sixth gear and the car just pull in front of you. You know what I'm saying? You rolling. You doing at least, what, 70. You know what I mean? Let's say a 70 
maybe 65, and you really going. This dumbass decides to pull in front of you. Look at that. Look at that. Prime example. You almost got your ass hit, and this motherfucker almost hit you. But, like, I'm just, I'm just, like, tired of it. Because you, you just got to do your own thing. And, and when you're on a motorcycle, you got to play by your own rules, bro. Because following everyone else's rules is going to get you killed. These people out here don't care. They don't care. They don't, they don't care at all. Hey, look, it's the CRX. I was just looking for the CRX. That's what's up. <sighs> Fuck that stop sign. Oh man, I'm on Highway 212. This don't look like a highway though, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm not even too sure what hell I'm at. Or if I'm going the right way. My girl will kill me. But I'll get to the house soon. And freaking uh <laughs> get on twos. We're supposed to be